today i'm going to talk about how to create multiple models with figma variables so here i have an example so in this example the first page will appear with the button where we can open the model window so once we get the first model window and clicking on the open to the next model window first will get close and then second will be appear so tapping on the read more button here it is the first model and once i tap on the second model this is the second model window and this will open the third model window so again uh, this is the first model window we can close it from here and this is the second model window and this is the third model window we can close it from here so how to create the multiple model window and uh, what all the use case where we can use uh, the multiple model window once we are using any of the like a uh, cart or uh, like some of the e-commerce website or an app so there is a need of uh, multiple model window like uh, adding the cart uh, some of the like uh, numbers of uh, orders in that uh, scenario we are using the multiple model window as well as the some of the like a dashboard also is having multiple model window so let's see how to create multiple model window so here i am uh, taking this very simple example and very simple trick So this will be the first page where we can have the some text or kind of some rectangle means uh, card so we'll align together and then will have some content here so for content can say first page and if you want so we can use this text for example And then we'll have one button so we'll use the same button so this will come to this frame now we need a overlay so overlay to create a model window so here we have the button this text and uh, some of the card we can place here and after that I'm going to create the overlay for the model window so this we can say overlay and we can change the color so we need to select just overlay and we can change the color so here we have this now we can make or reduce the opacity so what is in the first page we can see or we can read now we need a model body or container so we'll keep this and we can say model window And we'll align together now we'll change this color and we can give the radius now we need a header
and we can give top radius now this is done so next we need a close icon or a button so for that I'll change the color and we need a cross so it is done here now we'll place this In a model window now we need a text so we can take a text we can say first model or you can place any of the header or a title now we need a body content So here I'm using the very small frame. Frame size is uh, less. So I will I can take like a font size little smaller. And the same I will duplicate and I can say here open second model. So this will be the link button. So for this, uh, we can use some different color. And from here, I can give the underline. So this model, first model is done. Here is the model window overlay and then header then this close icon and we can make it uh, this text also will take and we can make it a group we can say model one so same way we can just duplicate this And here we can name this as a model 2 and instead first model we can say second model and here also we'll change second model content and here we can say third model so second model is done now will just duplicate this and we can say this as a third model so this is now not required we can delete this now we have uh, three models here one two three and going to create the local variable first so here we can create so we can rename the collection as a model and create variable so we need a boolean variable here and we can say first model and duplicate this second and then third 
so all will be false means not visible so now uh, first thing is like um, this all we have given like a local variable first model second and third so before that we'll come to the first model so here is the group for the first model here is for the third model so what we'll do giving the close icon interaction i will hide these two model and then get the first model so in first model we have this button close button and we'll give the interaction to the close button select this come to prototype and interaction on click set variable model so first model will be false and if uh, okay so first model will be false in tapping on the close icon so same thing we can use for the second also so now i'm going to hide the model 1 and show the model 2 and here we have the second model button so this is the second model button and here we can place the interaction tapping on this set variable second model false so same way we can hide this now and we can show the third model and here in third model we have this group we can say close button and we can place the interaction here set variable third model false so this work is done so whenever we tap on this so third model will get close and the second accordingly so again we'll make visible three of the model and what we need to do already we have created the local variable we'll come to the design and we'll select the model one and we'll pass through the layer so here we'll select the first model so it is a false so it won't visible it will get hidden so second model pass through the layer second model hidden and now the third model so we'll pass through the third model now need to give the interaction to the read mode so select this button come to prototype add interaction so here we have the condition to show the model one but uh, we didn't give the interaction for the second model and third model so again we have to come here come to design first model so we can show this first model and here we have the open link so open second model so for that we come to interaction select that and the interaction so this what it will do set variable first model false and here you will get okay so what we'll do we'll add the condition and we'll say if first model equal to true set variable first model false and here you will get the add nested action so set variable second model true that's it and then we can uh, we made a first model false and the second model true 
and uh, we can place one more set variable for the third model false so this is done and we can copy this interaction and come to the second model so we'll hide this second model so it will open the third model so select this and paste the interaction here and here instead of first model we can use the second model so once the second model is true first model will be false and second model will be false and third model get true so third we don't need to give any interaction so we can hide this now we can check the pass through layers so here it is now gone so once we'll see this this first model second model and third model select the first model so first model is selected pass through the layer first model pass through layer second model and here pass through layer third model so this interaction now for this we need to give so just we need to open the first model while tapping on the read mode so set variable first model true now we'll preview so here we have the first page and tapping on this this is the first model tapping on this this is the second model and tapping on this this is the third model so we can close this now so we can see this is the first model close icon is working fine the second model the close icon is working fine and we have seen already third model and close button is working so how is the trick and uh, how is the usage of the variable please write on the comment thank you thank you very much